It's Patrick from JP Cycles. We decided to make a trip from Anamosa up here in Milwaukee to experience the show we've been hearing about, the Mama Triad Show taking place right here in Milwaukee, the home of Harley Davidson, blue collar town, with a lot of like blue collar gritty bikes. Uh, I can't wait to see what's out here. I've been hearing about this for a long time. Let's go check it out. This thing is awesome. It's really narrow, um, really functionally built, and it looks like a bike that is, it, it holds a lot of like factory characteristics, but you start looking at it and it's just like one cool thing after another. So many like awesome little touches. It's really narrow. Um, yeah, I mean, I just want to get on it and, and, and beat it. <laughs> yeah, that's my barometer for if I like a bike. If I want to get on it and, and whip the crap out of it, then it's, it's a winner. And I would love to ride this bike. One thing you don't see a lot, or maybe ever, is this builder's name on too many entries. Yes, it is that Willie G. Davison. This is Willie G. Davison's personal knucklehead, and it's a clean one. So, uh, kind of a interesting thing here at Mama Tried. Yeah, Willie G. Davison has an invited builder. You don't get that at every bike show. This is a 49 Indian Scout uh, from Analog Motorcycles in Gurney, Illinois. This thing is incredibly detailed. Uh, just a great piece of work. They got a couple of bikes here. This is maybe the cleanest Indian I've ever seen. Uh, love the exhaust section on the bottom, uh, the oil lines, the, the right shift indi indicator, and the little the detail on the, the switch housings. Fairing and like seat and all that, that's not fiberglass. That's actually all aluminum. It's like handmade aluminum fairing. That's ridiculous. That's just a super, super clean and detailed bike. Here with a shovel head built by Dave Polgrain. This thing is super crazy. This is straight out of like Easy Rider 1972. This thing is awesome. Uh, digger style, this coffin tank, really narrow, even shortened up the levers there. Uh, just ridiculous crushed velvet seat. This thing has it all going on. The cutout primary over here, uh, the fin rockers, and probably my favorite air cleaner cover ever. Uh, very Rick James inspired. Uh, this bike is just off the chart, cool factor. 60 Panhead from uh, Kim Boyle Hill. Obviously a uh, very functionally built bike. Uh, awesome brakes, got a set of PM brakes on it. Just a really, really clean pan that uh, he built to ride. And it shows, it's a great Panhead. Uh, 48 Panhead, looks like it was built. Uh, by Vintage Dreams in California. Uh, cool thing about this bike is it's actually built in 1960. This is a survivor from the 60s, and he has uh, just kind of restored it back to its, as much of its, as its original condition as he could. But again, a ton of molding work, uh, just all kinds of trick chopper stuff. Kind of the craziest looking pipes maybe I've ever seen. Uh, one of the bikes that caught my eye right away was this uh, 66 shovel built by uh, Noise Cycle out of California. Um, real narrow. Uh, attention to detail is ridiculous. Uh, noise cycle is just another really killer bike. This is a 95 Honda XR650. Uh, it's built by Daniel Peter out of Chicago. This thing's awesome. Obviously put into full street trim, kind of a uh, back road runner, street tracker style. This thing's super clean. Um, it gets ridden. He said he's taking plenty of trips on it. This is just an awesome example of a, a, a you know a guy seeing something and turning it into you know his vision and then just turn it into a ripper. This is an awesome bike, uh, 95 Honda XR650. This is a panhead built by uh, Tom Fugel. Tom is also a fellow Iowa guy. Um, this is just definition of old school bike here. Really, really trick stuff to get it to work in this frame. Transmission looks like it's been raised up, but what obviously what really stands out here is the molding uh, and sheet metal work that it all runs together. And just the paint with the molding is just, it's, it's really, really cool. Like this whole thing is just like one badass piece. So the builder is Dynamite Joe, Huntington Beach, California. His description of the bike is, the bike's name is White Powder. End of description. Here are the 47 Indian Chief, uh, built by Panhead Mike, Suicycles. Again, another representation of another brand here at Mama Tried. Uh, we have everything here, Harleys, Ducatis, Hondas, Yamahas, Kawasaki's, and of course, um, a couple of really nice Indians. This is a really slick one, kind of crept up on us. This is actually a CB350 with a supercharger on it. The guy said he bought this bike for about 100 bucks and turned it into this. This thing is ridiculous. Like I said, a CB350 with a supercharger powered by an SNS car.
There's a lot of builders from across the country here, but a lot of Midwest-centric builders really keeping the focus on you know, this area and the builders that, you know, the, the hidden gems of builders we have here in the Midwest. Uh, this particular one built by River Rat Cycle Fab uh, out of Davenport, Iowa. One of the awesome things about this show is it covers a broad spectrum of motorcycles. The organizers of this show did a great job of bringing together all types of motorcycles. We're here with Randy Schmidt. Randy's got a CX500, which like I said, all kinds of different bikes here at Mama Tried. Randy is a hometown boy to us, so it's awesome to see a hometown guy here. But uh, something special about your bike, Randy, um, tell me about it. Well, first of all, is uh, we built the bike for a charity foundation called right. Amy for a Cure. The foundation helps families that have a child in the hospital that are going through treatment. It helps them pay for expenses like food yep. and lodging. So it's been great. We unveiled it last year in July and been using the bike to raise awareness to for a cure. And the response has been great. And then get invited to something like this with it. Yeah, this is awesome. And what better bike to bring than a bike that you built for a charity foundation. So I think we made a silk purse out of a sow's ear. <laughs> it's a CX-500. So um, it's about the best you can make a CX-500 look. Uh, Mama Tried could be one of the best motorcycle events I've ever, I've ever been to because, quite frankly, it's just inspirational. Seeing all this stuff here, uh, seeing all the stuff the guys have been working on over the winter, people, what people have built in their own garages or in their own shops, uh, just makes me want to go work on my own motorcycle. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood next year for Mama Tried, this is something you definitely need uh, to come to if you're in the Midwest. Don't sleep on this. You'll want to go work on your motorcycle.